Presets are a great way to speed up your processing time, uh, help you stay organized and improve your workflow. I'm gonna show you how to set up naming presets in Capture One. You can also do something similar in Lightroom, Lightroom Classic. So here in Capture One, what we're gonna do is uh, I'm just in the grid view here. There are, are three places where you can find naming presets and formats to do that. First here, I have my export tab open and uh, I'm gonna come down here to export naming and here, is format. If I click on these three dots, that's going to bring up the naming format dialog. I could also click on this import dialog here. That's going to open that here naming. I have format there. And if I click these three buttons again, that brings up the naming format dialog. And the third way is if you right click on any image, uh, you can click on batch rename and that brings up the batch renaming dialog. And then again, we have here a field for the format and this ellipses will open up the naming format dialog. Once we have this open, we can use this field, this format field, so we can use this field to create our naming schema. Now, the way I name image files is uh, pretty specific. If you haven't seen my previous video on uh, image file names, you can go back and watch that afterwards, but right now I'm just gonna run you quickly through this here. So in the naming format dialog, uh, we have a dropdown of presets. I have a couple that I've already created, and there are also some that come with Capture One. Uh, then we have the format field, the uh, sample, which will, if I start typing, you will see that it fills in the sample uh, image name there. Under that, we have groups, and this is the groups of tokens. You can see the tokens below here. Right now it's set to all, so it's showing all of the tokens. The other groups that we have are recently used, general tokens, we have date and time tokens, and we have metadata tokens, basic data, um, we have vendor specific, uh, EXIF data, and IPTC data. The way I name my files, I'm only gonna use the date and time, and then uh, I will use job name in a minute from the basic. So we'll start with our date and time. In date and time, we have two groups. We have the current date, that's this exact date, and we have the image date, which is the date the image was taken. Because I organize my files based on when the image was taken, this is what I'm going to use. So all of these tokens have a little drop down arrow attached to them so that you can change the formatting. So if I drag image year up here, uh, right now you can see it's only showing the last two digits of the year for which this image was taken. I wanna set this to the full four digits of the year 2016. Then I'm going to do month. And for month, right now it's showing just the numeric without a leading zero for February, which is two. I want it with a leading zero. Now, what I could also do is I could have it so that it shows the abbreviation for the month, the full name of the month, or just the first capitalized letter. Uh, what I want, I want the digits with a leading zero, so I'm going to select MM, and I'm gonna get rid of that space. I'm gonna come to the end of the line, and now I want the day of the month with a leading zero, so two digits right there. Next, I put a hyphen, then I want the time. I want the time that the image was set. So I'm gonna grab this image time token and place it in the formatter, but what I want, I don't like any of these formatting options because they add extra hyphens. What I want is just the hours, Grab the image time again, select just the minutes. Grab the image time again, select just the seconds. Now you can see in the sample, I can look at this formatting and I can see that this image was taken February 12th of 2016 at 128 p.m. and eight seconds. So I know exactly when that image was taken. Now the final token that I wanna add is I want to add a job name and that's gonna be in general. I'm just gonna grab that and bring that up. Now you can see the preset here change to KPR naming because this is this, the preset. This is the formatting that I use for naming my images. If I wanted to save this, what I could do is I could click this drop down and I can set save custom preset and then I could say KPR naming. It's already there so it would be redundant to hit save. And, but you could give your preset a name, hit save, and you have your naming preset set. That's it. The only difference between that and the one I have for exports is I use the image name because I've already set all these parameters 
when the image was imported. And then I just add photo by Kevin Patrick Robbins at the end of that for exporting my images to my clients. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you just quickly, I select this image. If I hit Control A or Command A to select all, that's selecting all the images. I'm going to right click, batch rename. I'm going to grab the formatting. I want to use my naming schema. Hit OK. The job name is NCCAF. That was from the North Carolina Comedy Arts Festival in 2016. Then I'm going to hit rename and it's going to rename all of these images for me. And that's it. Set up your naming presets, improve your workflow, keep yourself organized, save yourself a lot of time, use these presets wisely. Presets are power tools. Dig in. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, if there's anything that you would like to see me address in Capture One, and uh, if I can help you out with that. I'm going to have more Capture One videos coming up soon. Thanks a lot.